Hey guys, it's Karen Merrill. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about email marketing for ClickBank. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. This channel is all about affiliate marketing, how to make money online, how to make money from home. And I do a lot of product reviews to let you know what products are legitimate and which ones I don't feel are. As far as you making money online, if those are topics that you want to learn more about, make sure you click the subscribe button and the bell icon. That way you can be notified when I upload new videos, which right now is on a daily basis. With that being said, let's go ahead and get into the content. I wanted to show you uh, in previous videos, I showed you how to create a lead capture page in Builderall and ClickFunnels in order to promote ClickBank products. And I wanted to just go over a little bit more about email marketing, make sure you know how to set up uh, a follow-up series. I'm going to do it in Aweber. First thing you're going to do is click on Manage Lists and then Create a List. And you'll fill in this here, your company name. Your, you can put in your website if you want. You have to have your physical address that's required by law. The sender email, I would recommend that you use a domain name. Otherwise, you don't have as good a deliverability if you use like a Gmail or Yahoo because it's going to go to someone's spam and they'll never get your emails. So you can, I get this through GoDaddy. You just have a domain name and you can get an email attached to that. Then you'll give your list a name. Just whatever you want to name it. And then you can uh, write a description. Okay, I'm just going to fill that out with whatever. And then I would, okay, you're going to approve it. I would go back and let's see. Under your settings. No, no, that's not it. List options, you're going to do list settings here. And then the last one here, the confirmation message, you're going to click this off so they don't have to double opt in or you'll, you won't have very good um, opt ins, save settings. Okay, so let's say you want to promote, let's go to the marketplace here, let's find out the hottest or the most popular products right now are Fat Billy Fix, Power Efficiency Guide. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but let's just say you're going to promote that. We're going to look at the affiliate page. <clears throat> this is where you can go to get um, emails to put in your autoresponder. So let's just say we're going to use this one. I don't know, again, what this product is. but So what you're going to do is go back to Messages Legacy Follow-Up Series and use the drag-and-drop email builder. And you'll go back here, take your subject line. I would recommend, you know, you may change this up just a little bit to make them your own. But they basically have everything here for you. So you can just copy paste that in here. Okay, so this part here is where you have to put your affiliate ID. And they show you up here that, let's see, right here, this, you have to put where it says power, put your ClickBank affiliate ID in there. So you'll hyperlink this here, just um, highlight it, click on this link here. And then I'm not going to put my affiliate ID in here, but you'll put the URL right here and click OK. And you'll do the same thing with each one of these. Um, 
Okay, and one more here. And then of course you would put your name at the bottom. What I like to do also is put a link to my Facebook. That way they can see you're a real person or any of your um, social media accounts you can put there. I also like to put an image of myself in here so again they can know that you're a real person so you click here then just drag down the image box there click on that I already had one of mine loaded in here and that's huge so we'll put it on thumb and then align it left okay after that you want to make sure you test it so you click on this button here preview and test you send yourself a test email. You make sure everything, you click on everything, make sure it goes to what it's supposed to go to. And then you click on save and exit. And after that, you click on send options and add to follow up series. And this one, the first one's going to be sent out immediately. And then the ones after that, they have it set up that you would, it would be. Um, every day after that you could change that but I would recommend every day after that so that's your first one then you're going to add another one drag and drop email and you'll do the exact same thing go back here find your next swipe email And put that in here just like you did the other one. I don't think I need to go through this again, but well, let me do it because I'm going to show you. Something else here. Okay, so let's just say you got all your links in there, your image. So then after that comes up here, add to follow up series. And here, if you want to change the day that's sent out, this is one day after the first one, you can change it here if you'd like. But I would just leave it at one. Add to follow up series. <clears throat> And you can see you already have your two, two follow-up emails in there. So it's really simple to do. Um, and then again, you can just go back through here. They have, like this one has four. I would recommend uh, seven. And something else that I do with the ClickBank product is, let me just show you one that I did today is I have some other businesses that I promote besides ClickBank so at the bottom here I just included some other links here that that they may want to check out so that's an idea that's just that you can do um, just to just to see because they may not be interested in this ClickBank product, but they may be interested in something else that you're promoting. So that's just an idea for you. I'm going to leave um, some links in the description below this video on the videos that I did previously on how to create a lead capture page in um, ClickFunnels and Builderall and how to connect them to Aweber. So you'll have those as well. And then I just wanted to give you some, 
some tips on email marketing. I would say the first one is to email your list daily because that way they they get to know you and you want to provide valuable content. You don't want to just be sending them a promotion every single email. You want to do some things that actually teach them something and give them something of value. You want to ask your subscribers to connect with you on social media. So that way they can get to know you on different platforms. And that's the way that people get to know, like, and trust you is they see you on YouTube, they see you on Facebook, Instagram, and they kind of get to know your life a little bit and they know that you're a real person and that you're there to help them. Uh, make sure you respond back to any of their emails that they send back to you. And then I would ask in some of your emails what they need help with and how you can help them and just tell them to respond back to this email. Let me know what you need help with. And then I would create a YouTube video and say that one of my subscribers asked me this question and you can even mention their name in, in the video. And then I would send that video out to all your subscribers. So it just shows that you really care about helping people and you're again, providing valuable content. And that's when people buy from you is they just, they get to know you, they trust your recommendations and so that's, that goes a long way. So those are just some tips that I have for you and um, wanted to show you again how to set up your Aweber. So that's um, email marketing for ClickBank. Of course, it can be for any affiliate um, product. So I hope you received, received some value from this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up, give me a like. And again, if you're new to the channel, Make sure you subscribe to get more videos like this. And if you're returning, I appreciate you guys. And one more thing, if you want to learn my number one recommendation for making money online, I'll leave that. That'll be the first link in the description below this video. That being said, this is Karen Mayo signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next video.